This graph plots the importance of unions to shared prosperity and to a robust middle class. Early in the century, the share of the American workforce which belonged to a union, the Blue Line, was meager, barely 10% of the labor force. At the same time, inequality was stark. The share of national income going to the richest 10% of Americans, the Red Line, stood at nearly 40%. This gap widened in the 1920s, but in 1935, the New Deal granted workers basic collective bargaining rights. In the organizing drives of the late 1930s, union membership grew dramatically, followed by an equally dramatic decline in income inequality. This yielded an era of broadly shared prosperity, running from the 1940s into the 1970s. After that, however, unions came under attack in the workplace, in the courts, and in public policy. As a result, union membership has fallen and income inequality has worsened, reaching levels not seen since the 1920s.